PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone who's interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. Today, we want to provide a video version of our response to a question received from a subscriber to our free newsletter. Here's the question. How do I cope with a panic attack? How do I stay on the bus, etc., without jumping off and walking home? How do I calm myself down? For the purpose of the example in this video, let's imagine that the above questions were posed by an individual with the name Jane. Obviously, the person's true identity will be held in confidence. Let me ask you something. Do you think there might be cognitive distortions lurking in the background of her thoughts? Jane certainly has an overall thought which is, I cannot take the bus home because I get too anxious. We can work with this. Before continuing, I'll quickly mention that you can always obtain the list of cognitive distortions from our website, which will be presented at the end of this video. The following four cognitive distortions are present. One, disqualifying the positive. Two, jumping to conclusions, fortune telling. Three, magnification. And four, emotional reasoning. I'll explain each distortion and then look at some alternative, more realistic thoughts. One, disqualifying the positive. By asking this question, Jane is very likely overlooking many times that she rode on the bus or things worked out fine. Two, jumping to conclusions, fortune telling. Jane is predicting in advance that she will not be able to ride the bus or other things. While she may feel anxious, it does not necessarily follow that she will be unable to ride the bus. Three, magnification. This distortion refers to the tendency to exaggerate the seriousness of something. In this case, while Jane stays on the bus, she may feel anxious. While she might feel some anxiety, she will not die of her anxiety or panic attack. And four, emotional reasoning. Emotional reasoning refers to the tendency to conclude things are a certain way because of how you feel about them. Well, again, Jane may certainly feel anxious when she rides the bus, but just because she feels anxious does not mean anything really bad will happen. Now, let's try to generate some alternative, more accurate thoughts that Jane can substitute in place of the ones containing distortions. Okay, here are some alternatives. Just because Jane feels that she can't ride the bus does not make it so. While she may feel anxious on the bus, nothing really bad will happen by simply taking the bus. Jane cannot know for certain that she will absolutely have a panic attack on the bus. Again, while she might feel anxious, it does not follow that she must jump off the bus and walk home. The tendency to avoid the bus actually makes her anxiety worse in the overall grand scheme. While it is likely that Jane will feel anxious on the bus, if she can continue to expose herself to fear over time, she will be able to work through her anxiety. As you can see from this example, after we identify the cognitive distortions causing our anxiety, we are then in a much better position to generate healthier thoughts that make us feel better and complete actions that are truly in our best interest. Now, there are many other CBT techniques that we discuss in our free newsletter, along with providing an overall approach to anxiety, panic attacks, and ADHD. To subscribe to our newsletter, please visit our website. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to presenting another video next week. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com